Hello, happy Sunday. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are watching across the world. Thank you for tuning in to the Precious People TV. You are precious. That is why you are here. And if you are a new subscriber, thank you for joining the family. You are welcome. Welcome. And to everybody who celebrated me on my birthday, that was September 18th. I appreciate you. May the Lord celebrate you as well. May multitude come together to celebrate you as well. Thank you for making my day prosperous. So today, we'll be talking on proving facts to passing excellently. I've listed points and I'll be talking about them. How you can pass excellently. Okay, here yeah, in Nigeria, in this part of the world, West Africa, Nigeria, schools will be resuming. Especially schools in southwestern Nigeria will be resuming tomorrow. And I am pleased to share how God has been helping me to pass in school. I'm also a student, so it is a relatable topic. We'll be talking on how we can pass and if you have been passing excellently how you can build from passing to passing excellently so join me lest i forget my name is precious Okebukola. i'm a nigerian yes i am a content writer because i write if you've not gotten my new book dear sweet that please check in in the bio um, in the comment section, I will drop how you can get the book to you. I am a vlogger. I vlog on Christian lifestyle, academics, as I'll be doing today, relationship, and day-to-day -day activities. So, welcome once again to the Precious People TV. So, fact number one is that you study past questions, and this goes majorly to students in the higher institution either college of education polytechnic monotechnic and university study past questions that thing works like like jazz like cheats <laughs> that was also that point will also lead me to the second point know your lecturer when you study the past question if god is so good to you if it is the same lecturer that taught your seniors and he's still teaching you, you would know the style in which he asks his question. You would also familiarize yourself with the topics he concentrates his question on during exam. In a semester, we have um, not less than 13 weeks for lectures, and you cannot expect a lecturer to bring out 13 different questions from the same topic if you are going to treat a topic for a week. So there are there's a an area of concentration where the lecturer brings out his question year after year. And like I said, it's work like cheats. Some lecturers find it find joy in repeating questions. I will not call it laziness, I will call it they want to know if the knowledge they are impacting in you in us is really working so i have asked this question last year let me see if what i've taught this year as well if this set of students also understand it and even if the lecturer is not repeating question there is no way you would not have known a style of questioning some lecturers will ask you just one question 20 marks another lecturer will give you explain is different from list. Some lecturers will tell you to list, list 10 points, and you get your 10 points free. Some lecturers tell you list and explain. So you know the lecturers that are telling you list and explain. And here also you have to calm down to study your questions when you are in the examination hall. So the second, the second point, I've mentioned it as well. You know your lecturer, you know the style of his questions, you know, the points he gives in questions. I have some lecturers that they will give you one A, one AI, one AII, one AIII, then one B. 
in the same sequence. And I have lectures that will just give you one, two, three, four. They'll give you six persons, answer four. And it's just 20, 20 marks. They don't want stress. Just list for me. Explain if you can. If you cannot explain, it is not by force. Just list for me. You get your 10 marks, 40 marks, straight up. So in studying past questions for my sisters and brothers in the universities, you know the style of your lecturers. And for students in secondary school, high school, you can also get past questions. I also study past questions. In the junior school I went to, every, every two weeks, by annual test, by weekly test, pardon me, we call it by weekly test, every two, two weeks we have tests. So, this week, I will know that I would always read. I would always read. It's, it's enhanced my reading skill. And I think anybody watching and attended varsity children's school in Ogun State would know that, yes, that school helped us to read and prepare at any time. They are still meeting up that standard. That is the point, the third point I'll be talking about. Read, try to read your book frequently i will not say every day because i'm also a student it's not easy for me to go to class in this morning go to fellowship later on in the evening and come back to read i can glance through i can revise but not read but why do you have a weekend do you have a weekend for you to revise all what you have so try to read frequently frequently don't wait until when it is two weeks to the exam three weeks the exam then you now start brushing everything together it, the classes you attended for 13 weeks you cannot read all the notes within three weeks no it's not possible you might manage to have c but remember the topic passing excellently if you want to pass excellently you need to read frequently so number four point is that you should give yourself tests after reading and what does that mean when you read you ask yourself what does that mean when you read you ask yourself questions not not um it might not be the lecturer's question it might not be the past question grade yourself mark yourself ask yourself questions um examine yourself mark yourself it's helps the IQ, it helps your reasoning, it helps give yourself a question, maybe just one topic. It's not compulsory you um, read, stack your brain. No, the brain needs to rest. If it's a topic you'll be treating, try to give yourself question over it. And you are not in competition with anybody. If you have a friend that has gone to the library for five, six hours, fine, that is his capacity. Know yourself. And that is the next point. Know yourself. Some students won't read in the, in the night. Like it is in the day. When you see them in class, that is the only time they have to read. Some people will tell you it is night, they know how to read. They prefer to sleep, then wake up to read. So know yourself. If you have a roommate that you don't see her or you don't see him reading, do not say, oh, um, my friend is sleeping. Let me also sleep. We are, we, are, we are together now. Don't worry. You do not know if he had gone to read during the day. So know yourself know yourself do not don't um don't build on or back on another person's style if you have a roommate that wakes up in the night night style might not be your style you might be sleeping or so know yourself some people it is early in the morning when they wake up for devotion by five before class by eight they read 5 30 to 8 a.m and they've assimilated some people might be so, some people can read in a noisy environment, while some people don't. So know yourself. You need to know yourself. And while you are saying you know yourself, don't deceive yourself. Don't deceive yourself. Don't say, I am the morning type. Money will come. You will not still wake up to read. Okay, I'll read during the day. 
during the day you are in class for lectures so the people that I read during the day already time themselves okay after lecture i finish lecture by four i will read from four to six but you you are you are trying to deceive yourself laziness procrastination please as a student run away from it run away from it so the next point is that you should form tutorial discussion group it does not matter if you are in high school or you are in college of education or university polytechnic form discussion group i remember in junior secondary school three we call it just three year in nigeria up to now i can still remember the song we formed with the definition of rusting because it sticked and then it was it, it was in the group discussion that we formed it we formed it in a song and when we're preparing for the exam we do not need to remember the words of the song we just okay this is the line of the song since we get this song we know it we just remember that scene so what am i trying to pass across the things you say the things you teach sticks better than you keeping it to yourself form a discussion group don't be proud don't abhor god's goodness and grace over you you are brilliant you are intelligent share the knowledge with other people god is most high he's the most high god he's is an excellent god but he still gave us the grace to become excellent students so share it with other there are people that are better than you in another topic in another subject when you come together you reason together even the bible says that come let us reason together so what you what, what you um do together in the tutorial it sticks when you teach a topic and it comes out during the examination or tests you remember you pick up like what i said in junior secondary school three i could still remember i remember fatima was in my group I remember Yusuf was in my group, they were my seat mates. I remembered Rustin. Rustin is the formation of Ion 3 Yogsa. Don't let me continue. I remembered, I remember GS3. We formed Rustin, the definition of Rustin, in a song, in a group discussion. And I could still remember up to today. That was like 10, 10, 11 years ago, if I'm not mistaken. So, form a tutorial group. No one is an highland. Receive knowledge from all other people and then as you are forming your discussion group it should stop before entering the examination hall any other discussion inside the examination hall is cheating yes it's cheating it does not matter if you've been reading together the instruction says do not talk adhere strictly you might be an excellent student but if you do not adhere to instructions it might be disastrous to your career. God will help us in Jesus' name to be obedient students and to pass excellently. My next point is that do not joke with assignments and tests. Yes, don't ridicule any test. Don't say, um, just mention, he just asks us to mention about the seven continents in, in the world. Be like, ah. I mean, 400 level, what does this man want me? Who, who does not know the seven continents in the world? Some people don't know. And even though every, even if everybody knows it, he's your lecturer. You can't question him. He has the right to question you and to give you assignment. It is those questions or those assignments that you do not take serious that the lecturers um, um, gives a lot of mark, gives a lot of concentration on. Especially when he sees the lack of on lack of seriousness in the students. It also leads me to the next point. Be prompt to class. Get to class early. Most lecturers like to take their attendance at the beginning of the class. And attendance in my own school, and I know um, in another school, in other schools, I've, I've been to... <laughs> I represent dual um, schools. I've been to a public university and I'm presently in a private university. And I know um, attendance matters. Attendance matters. In my present school, attendance is 10% of the 100 marks. In the public school, I left to go to where I am presently. Attendance also matters. In fact, if you do not get to the class before the lecturer, the lecturer slams the door. 
nobody has the right to even to come inside even if the person is the class governor you cannot come in again so if that can happen in a public university that means it is happening all around as well so get to class promptly attend classes listen 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 attentively you are in the class you should not be giggling or chatting with another person you are there to concentrate remember the sacrifice our parents are making at home to send off funds in school so that will lead me to the next point as you are reading as you are listening as you are taking points as you are reading do not forget your god do not forget your God. And when I say do not forget your God, don't run to God only when exam is coming. The Lord you know now should be the God you should know when exam is coming, when there is no exam, when there is no test. So while you read to study, to become an excellent student, pray as if you will not read and read as if you will not pray. You are a Christian student. You should... In your class, there should be embodiment of excellence. You should carry yourself with charisma, with excellence. Let them know that you are a Christian student. A Christian student do not giraffe in the examination hall. A Christian student do not cheat in the examination hall. These are points for you to pass excellently. As you resume, try. You are resuming a new session, a new semester. Try as much as possible. You can do it. You can do it. Students are doing it. I personally, I do it. I don't talk in the examination hall. I get to the examination hall very early. I sit in front. When the invigilator is sitting in front of me, I don't think anybody has the, the confidence, the boldness to call me when I'm rightly in front of the invigilator. So build your confidence. Read, pray, and the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. You can do without asking questions in the examination hall, and you will still pass. Yes. Yes, I'm a living testimony. You will pass. Yes, just be dedicated to it. People will chastise you. Your friends are going to say things about you. But he who knows their God, they will be great and they will do exploits. So do exploit as a Christian student. My last point for this phase is that do not study to pass. Don't read to pass. There is this um saying i uh, means nigerian students pardon me it is in yoruba but i will try as much as possible to translate it it is called beru beso dale that means you are you are reading you are cramming you get to the examination no you just write it down and vroom it has gone off again 3 m so study to know let's the school pass through you. Let the teaching pass through you. Study to know. And how would you know that you study to know? After the examination, you can be able to teach your junior ones. I mean, if you're in 400 level, your juniors in 300 level, you can teach them tutorial. I teach tutorial of ed to so God be the glory. I, I, I take questions. I can predict lecturers' questions because I know their style. I have studied their style. The, their, their teaching has impacted me and I can give to my junior the, the junior ones coming um, after me so do not study for that period don't read for that period what you read to to gain knowledge sticks than what you just do to pass that is why if they ask a question from last semester majority of students cannot um, have an answer to it because they just okay exam is coming let me just read and give this lecturer no you don't know how it would be useful later in the future so study to to um know and not to pass so thank you for tuning in if you've not subscribed please subscribe remember to drop comments in the comment section and please Put on your bell notification so that you know when I drop new videos. Thank you very much. As you resume, the Lord goes with you. The mighty hand of God upholds you. You will not come home with coronavirus. 
you would be kept under the shield of God. The blood of Jesus flows round us in Jesus' name because I'm also resuming, we are resuming together. And you will pass excellently this semester and ends forth in Jesus' name. Thank you. God bless you. Till we meet next time. Bye.